As part of efforts to elevate the standard of refereeing in major competitions, the AFC Referees Department embarked on a special program in late 2014 involving a total approach in preparing a selected group of match officials prior to and during the AFC Asian Cup 2015. A total of 12 main refereeing trios were selected. including one from OFC was selected, while three reserve trios and three reserve referees were also on standby should replacements be required during the competition. Four main technical instructors were appointed to monitor the performance of match officials as well as conduct daily training activities, including post-match debriefing sessions. Also in attendance were assessors and additional referee instructors whose functions were to assess the performance of match officials at the venue and assist the main instructors during practical training sessions. Two referee fitness instructors also oversaw, assessed and helped maintain the physical performance and fitness levels of the match officials. They conducted various fitness training activities and recovery sessions based on daily requirements. Using the AFC online education platform called AFC on the Field, Video and laws of the game tests were conducted weekly between October and December 2014 and December 2015. These online training sessions commenced following the announcement of match officials for the competition in September 2014. FIFA AFC referee instructor Al Traifi Ali from Saudi Arabia was assigned to take charge of the match officials and managed the online education activities, which improved technical knowledge and understanding of the laws of the game. To kick things off, a first preparatory course was held in Kuala Lumpur one month prior to the start of the competition, with the aim of preparing match officials to be technically and physically ready for the competition. Among the activities conducted were discussions and analysis of match incidents to achieve consistency in recognition of fouls and match management, high-intensity fitness and yo-yo tests to measure fitness levels of match officials, specially designed technical exercises and drills to enhance performance of referees during the practical training sessions, and specific exercises to enhance assistant referees' performance. Technical instructors were also on hand to provide instant feedback during practical training using video replays. Having completed the course in Kuala Lumpur, selected trios then proceed to attend the second preparatory course in Sydney, which focused on boosting the referees' and assistant referees' competency on the technical aspects of refereeing. Various video clips on match situations were analysed and discussed, Simulated match-specific training exercises were developed and conducted to further improve the technical knowledge of match officials, while constant efforts were undertaken to ensure high fitness levels at all times during the competition. All practical sessions were filmed and video replays were used to provide professional feedback to help deliver refereeing standards that met the high expectations of the competition. Instant feedback has become an important, effective and regular tool in all practice sessions. 
The media were allowed to interview referees and assistant referees during two of the training sessions to get a better insight on their preparations for the flagship competition. As an initial prelude to the activities undertaken in 2015, a special workshop for participating teams was conducted in Kuala Lumpur in September 2014, which included a session on refereeing technical matters to ensure good support and understanding for smooth management of the AFC Asian Cup 2015 competition. A DVD entitled Top Topics for AFC Asian Cup 2015 produced by the AFC Referees Department was used during the workshop and also by the AFC technical instructors at the team arrival meeting for all participating teams four days prior to the team's first match in the competition. This provided a better understanding of the laws of the game and refereeing issues. Teams were further briefed during match coordination meetings which were held a day before each match. The Pullman Hotel in Sydney Olympic Park served as the referee headquarters for all refereeing delegations and operational matters. Located near the referee's headquarters was the Sydney Olympic Park, housing the athletic and aquatic centres, which were used as the practical training venue and primary location for referees' recovery respectively, while the hotel gymnasium provided a secondary facility for referees' recovery. Daily physiotherapy sessions, especially pre- and post-match treatments, were also made available at the referee's headquarters. It wasn't all work and no play, as match officials enjoyed a tour to Manly Beach and a ferry trip to Sydney Harbour, organised by the LOC. Officials could also relax and observe live matches at the referee's lounge throughout the competition, while referee jerseys and match balls were autographed by match officials as souvenirs. Vanishing spray was used for the first time in an Asian Cup competition, helping referees manage free kicks effectively. As for the daily transport arrangements to match venues by road and air travel, these were well organized by the LOC Transport and Accommodation Service Team with full security and police escort. The LOC also assigned two staff from the Referees Department of the Football Federation of Australia to assist in managing the daily refereeing activities. The organising and preparatory efforts were given an additional boost when AFC President Sheikh Salman bin Ibrahim Al Khalifa expressed his satisfaction at seeing the preparation activities of referees for the competition during a special visit to the referees' headquarters. As the competition got underway, all 32 matches were carefully analysed and evaluated daily by technical instructors at the media centre in the Sydney Stadium, with refereeing issues being discussed immediately after each match day, while video clips of selected match situations were used to conduct debriefing sessions the next day. The debriefing sessions for each match day were shared online with other venues and were conducted by referees' assessors. Specific advice was also given to individual trios to perform better in future matches. After every match day, staff and technical instructors planned and prepared activities and debriefing sessions for the next day. As part of the preparatory measure, Special pre-match training activities were arranged for match officials a day prior to their matches to ensure optimal mental and physical readiness prepared for the game. On match day itself, match officials not only needed to be physically ready themselves with pre-match warm-up routines to prevent possible injuries during the game, but also attend to other important tasks such as ensuring that the goal nets were properly secured as per the laws of the game, as well as to check if communication equipment used between the referee and his assistants were in good working order. Being mentally, physically and psychologically prepared allowed referees to carry out their duties more effectively throughout the tournament and coupled with their dedication and professionalism both on and off the field helped achieve a higher level of performance. 
This augurs well for the combined efforts of the AFC, refereeing experts and the referees themselves, supported by the relevant MAs in taking refereeing standards to a higher level. The commendable performance of referees in the AFC Asian Cup Australia 2015 reflects and reinforces the fact that AFC is in the right direction in its trust and investment and ongoing efforts in developing, training, selecting and preparing match officials to achieve even greater levels of refereeing excellence for tournaments in the future.